So the iPhone 12 has been banned in France due to concerns over excessive radiation. But is there really a cancer risk associated with cell phone use? So what's the deal with France banning the iPhone 12? Well, it all started when the French government raised concerns about radiation levels emitted by this particular model, citing concerns over specific absorption rate or SAR levels, which measure radiation absorption in human tissue. Now, the SAR levels of the iPhone 12 were found to exceed the country's limit of 2.0 watt per kilogram, as well as the US limit of 1.6 watt per kilogram, I might add, by over 200% sparking fears of potential health risks. So is there a concrete link between cell phone radiation and cancer? And the answer is actually more complicated than you might think. Now our government agencies like the FCC and the FDA assure us that there is no risk. However, several studies say otherwise. A 2020 meta-analysis published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health titled Cellular Phone Use and Risk of Tumors systematic review and meta-analysis concluded that this comprehensive meta-analysis, so again, they looked at many studies together, of case control studies found evidence that, uh, that linked cellular phone use to increased tumor risk. And in rodent studies, so we're looking at rats and mice here, right? Um, we can follow basically a mammal through its lifespan sometimes, and we can control the exposure levels to match human exposure here as well, right? The National Toxicology Program conducted two-year toxicology studies in rats and mice to help clarify potential health hazards, including cancer risk, from exposure to radiofrequency radiation, or RFR, like that used in 2G and 3G cell phones, which operate within a range of frequencies from about 700 to 2700 megahertz, right? And these studies found that high exposure to RFR of about 900 megahertz, so right in between there, used by cell phones was associated with clear evidence of an, associated, of an association with tumors in the hearts of male rats. And these tumors were malignant schwannomas. Some evidence of an association with tumors in the brains of male rats. Now, these tumors were, these tumors were malignant gliomas and some evidence of an association with tumors in the adrenal glands of male rats. And these tumors were either benign, malignant, or complex combined pheochromosatoma. So I think the conservative statement for humans is that cell phone radiation may cause problems for us, especially with long-term exposure and you know, the more powerful networks like our current 5G. So when you look at the development here, these networks just become a bit more powerful. That also means more radiation, obviously. So given this uncertainty, what can we do to reduce our exposure to cell phone radiation, regardless of the brand or model? Because we shouldn't just focus on the iPhone 12. Of course, every cell phone emits radiation. So to minimize radiation exposure, we can consider using hands-free options like speakerphone or wire headphones or plugs. Now, most experts believe that Bluetooth technology, so these earbuds, are safe because um, it is actually very low um, energy radiation that's used here, right? But I would still not let children use these as their developing brains are a lot more sensitive than those of adults. I would definitely avoid holding your phone to your ear when you're talking and um, also for extended periods of time, having it on your body, in your pocket, in your uh, jeans or so, so in close proximity to your body. So I would always keep it as far away from your body as you can. Also, I would not recommend to sleep with your phone close to you. And uh, we actually keep our phones out of our bedrooms altogether. We also limit the daily use of mobile devices by our children. So what's the bottom line here? So France's decision to ban the iPhone 12 is rooted in concerns over SAR levels. And even though scientific studies and government agency statements remain divided, there is evidence that cell phone radiation is harmful. And while we await more comprehensive research, it's wise to take steps to minimize our exposure to cell phone radiation. Remember, we are all in the experimental group here, and it's better to be safe than sorry. Now, if you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family and stay safe.